The evil planet destroyer is back. Uh, that's me. I'm the evil planet destroyer. What is going on, TFG squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Universe Sandbox. Once again, I took all of your comments. I'm gonna jump right in. The first thing you guys said is, Brandon, you gotta use some black holes. I didn't even know black holes existed in this game. Okay, so these are all of the black holes I can choose from. I know nothing about black holes, so I'm gonna do, um... I, this one, because I think it's the smallest one. Let's pause the simulation really quickly. Bam! Okay. So you can, you can kind of see the black... I'm struggling to see the black hole, maybe because it's an invisible black hole, but something tells me it's probably not going to be good. Okay, you ready? We're going to zoom out a little bit. I want to see what this does to the orbits. I mean, it is the mass of the sun. Three, two, one, play! Oh, no. Oh, no. Earth just got yeeted towards the sun. The other planets actually look fine. Wait, why is planet Earth going away from the black hole? I would have thought planet Earth would go into the black hole. Apparently, I'm not an astronomy expert. I lost planet- Oh no, Venus is getting sucked into the black hole now. Wait, where is planet Earth? Oh no. The black hole and our sun are basically orbiting around each other, and all of the other planets are just confused. I mean, this looks like the giant knot that happens in your Christmas lights every year when you pull them out of the box from the basement. That's what this looks like right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Even Jupiter is starting. Even Saturn is starting to come inward. Wait, Venus is like, nah. Venus is like, you know what? I'm out of here. Mercury, too. Mercury's like, you know what? I was a fan of the way things used to be. I'm getting the heck out of here. I'm going to a different solar system. Saturn and Jupiter are starting to come in. Let's speed things up a little bit more. Oh my goodness gracious. Whoa! What was the planet that... Jupiter is... <laughs> I was talking about the other planets. Jupiter was like, you know what? I really hate this new black hole. I am leaving as fast as humanly possible. Oh my gosh. Look at this. The sun and the black hole are just boomeranging off of each other. And then they have some followers. Uh, let's try a smaller black hole because clearly this was too big. The black hole is the size of planet Earth. And you know what? Let's make the density a little bit smaller. I don't know what's going to happen, but something tells me it's probably still going to be bad. Uh, maybe not. Wait a second, the black hole and planet Earth look like they might be friends right now. Oh no, no, not, oh no, not friends, not friends. The black hole seems to have exploded and, and oh no, it just ate planet Earth. Okay, planet Earth is now gone. You can see, whoa, that's so cool looking. That is so cool. You could see the, the Milky Way around it bending around the black hole. Okay, I want to see what's happening to the rest of the planets. Everything else looks kind of okay, actually. Wait a second. Wait a second. There is no way that I can put a black hole in the middle of the solar system and everything's just fine. Look at this. They're all living in harmony. Yes, the black hole might have just eaten planet Earth where we all live and, and you know, all of us are dead. But everyone else is fine. They're like, you know what? Planet Earth was overrated. This black hole is awesome. Okay, this is way too nice. I've got to make, uh, let's make it a hundred times the size of Earth. Boom. Is that really not going to change things? I just made the black hole 100 times the size of planet Earth, and it's still not going to eat Mercury or Venus or even the sun. Okay, you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to bump up the density levels. The density levels are going up, so that's going to make the gravity stronger. It better eat Venus. If it doesn't at least eat Venus, I am going to be extremely upset with this black hole. Yes, I'm going to be mad at a stellar object. The sun is actually starting to get drawn towards the black hole. Oh, now this could be a problem. This could be a problem if the sun is moving. Is the entire solar system just moving with the sun? Oh, now that's a great A load of barnacles. There's no way that would just be fine. One more thing I want to do before I switch. Let's just put in the world's largest black hole. So this one, how big is this guy? Uh, oh my gosh, this one is, I don't even, is that 4 million times the size of the sun? Or is that 43 million? I don't know. This one has got 4 million times the mass of our sun. This is going to be huge. Uh, let's put it right there. That seems like a beautiful spot for a black hole. Why not? And then, um... Yeah, this is going to be bad. Let's just hit play. Oh, no. Oh, I don't even know what happened. I don't even know what happened. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, the new black hole is now the center of the, of the solar system. And um, every single object is just going the opposite direction. That seems like a problem. 
Yeah, that seems like a major problem. I'm pretty sure it ate our sun in a matter of seconds. Okay, um, yeah, because look at the mass of it now. It's literally 430, whatever it is, and one. So it definitely ate our sun. So the next thing you guys told me to do might be the coolest thing we've ever done. So you guys love when I make life on other planets. Well, this time, I'm gonna try to make life on Titan or Europa. Those are two moons that are way out. I think one of them goes around Jupiter and the other one goes around Saturn, maybe? I, I don't know. Let's go to delete and bam, planet Earth gone. Planet Earth doesn't exist anymore. Now we're gonna go to add. We're gonna go to moons. Oh, here it is, Europa. Okay, sweet. So let's do Europa orbiting around the sun. Bam. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So normally Europa is what... You know what? Let me Google this. A few moments later. Normally, Europa is orbiting around Jupiter. So how cold is it? It's got to be freezing, right? Negative 240 degrees Fahrenheit. That's actually really cold. But now it's way closer. It's around the sun. Let's see what happens to Europa. If the water starts to melt on Europa, maybe we could actually sustain life. Come on, baby. Oh, no. What? What is that? Why is Europa farting water out of its butt cheeks? Oh, son of a nutcracker. I guess it doesn't have a darn atmosphere. You know what? Let's speed up the simulation and see if we can eventually get liquid water. No, no. It's stuck at negative 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Is it messed up that I really like hitting the delete button on planet Earth? I, I just think it's so much fun. Okay, here's Titan. Bam. So I think this one's a little bit bigger. And I think Titan goes around Saturn. Ugh, let me Google it again. Titan goes around Saturn and they said it has a dense atmosphere. So maybe this one could actually hold on to the water once it gets warmer. I, I really have no idea. So Titan is normally 297 degrees or negative 297 degrees Fahrenheit. But now, wait, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Let's select it so we can follow it. Is it getting warmer? I, I mean, it should be getting warmer. It's way closer to the sun now. Yeah, 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 it's getting warmer. Okay, please don't start farting water like Titan did. Oh, it's definitely getting warmer. It's definitely getting warmer. Oh, no. I hope it doesn't get too hot. Maybe it's got a thicker atmosphere than planet Earth. It's 35, 36, 37. This is actually good. This is really good. Look at this. If you didn't know any better, Titan could be planet Earth. It's rotating perfectly in a circle or an ellipse, I guess you would say. It's close to the sun. It's not affecting any of the other planets. Let's see what it's at right now. 41 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a little cold, but I think that's warm enough to sustain life. Come on, baby. What's the likelihood of survival? All it's 33%. 32.8% of people could survive on Titan if I deleted planet Earth and put Titan there. Okay, you know what? If we use up all of our resources on planet Earth, let's just hit the delete button and put Titan here. That, it's probably going to be hard to do. You'd need a really big crane. Every time I try to actually make life on other planets, I fail. That one actually worked out great. So thank you to everybody that suggested that in the comments. The next thing is a little more ridiculous. Somebody said, please put as many watermelons orbiting planet Earth as you possibly can. We're literally going to put thousands of watermelons around planet Earth just to see what happens. I mean, this is probably the greatest idea anybody's ever come up with in the history of ideas. Let's slow down the simulation. Now let's go to add. Let's go to... I know there are watermelons. I've definitely seen them. There they are. There's the watermelons. And we're going to go orbit. And I'm just going to click as fast as I can. So how far should I put them? Let's put them... Uh, yeah, that seems about good. And I'm just going to start clicking. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm adding watermelons. I am adding thousands and thousands of watermelons. Oh, this is fantastic. Yep, this is officially the greatest thing I've ever done in this game. Okay, let's add like different rings. Oh my gosh, we're gonna make Saturn's rings around planet Earth, except they're watermelons. Oh, this is the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. Okay, I've officially added 10,000, maybe a little more than 10,000. The game is starting to lag a little bit, but I just wanna see some different angles here. We've got 10,000, oh my gosh, this is incredible. 
We've got 10,000 watermelons orbiting around planet Earth. And if you guys don't believe me, let me zoom in on one. So let's zoom in on this one. We're going to name this guy. Um, it, It's Edward, Edward the watermelon. Yep, that is the name of this watermelon. His name is Edward. And if we zoom all the way in, just in case you don't believe me, there is the melon that's just orbiting around planet Earth. Look at the view from the melon. I mean, it looks like a satellite at this point. All right, see you later, Edward. We'll probably never see you again, considering there's 10,000 other watermelon going around planet Earth. This is just awesome. I mean, I know watermelons aren't that big, but I feel like this has to have some effect on the solar system, right? I mean, I literally have over 10,000 watermelon. Is it not doing anything? It's literally not going to affect the solar system at all. It's not even going to affect planet Earth. This is incredible. The, although the the streak around planet Earth is a lot bigger right now. Wait, wait. Are they starting to crash into the planet? Oh my gosh. It looks like it's raining 10,000 watermelon on planet Earth. Oh yeah, that's because it is. Is it affecting planet Earth at all? If it, I, I don't think it's affecting planet Earth at all. Normally, the likelihood of survival is like 98% or 97%. It's still 97%. So apparently, if we all launch thousands of watermelon in our atmosphere, nothing bad will happen. Make sure you hit that subscriber button and check out my vlog channel, TFG Vlogs. There's a new vlog every single week. So go to that channel and subscribe right now. And I will see all of you in the next video. I could stare at 10,000 watermelons orbiting planet Earth all day long.